Hey everybody, it's Crafty Glamper 77. I am here today with a little something different. Instead of it being a Timu haul, I had some people asking me if I had thought about doing Dollar Tree, just other stores in general, um, different hauls. I love to shop. I love a lot of different stores. So I thought, sure, why not? Well, I went to the Dollar Tree to, uh, today in a town that I will go and get my nails done. And they have changed so much since I've been there last. They're trying to go to like a Dollar Tree Super Center. So not just enough our price is going up from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five, which isn't that huge of a jump, but those quarters add up. We now have items in there for three dollars and five dollars and stuff like that. So I kind of had to be careful because every time I see something, I was like, oh, I like that. I'd go up and I'm like, oh, it's five dollars, it's not a dollar and a quarter. So I really had to watch my prices on things. Um, stores that I like to go into, things just kind of seem to jump in my cart. And I went there today thinking, okay, I'm in Richmond. I'm gonna go ahead and go. So I did. And my agenda was Memorial Day and 4th of July stuff. But you know what happens when you go in the store. You eventually just start looking at everything and things just gradually start jumping in your cart. So that's what happened with me. I have an 80 some dollar haul that I did. See, y'all shouldn't ask me to do this. Go do different hauls. It just gets me in trouble. It came to with tax. Okay, my total was $82. Um, I probably will have to look every now and then. There's only a few things um, that I got that were $5. Actually, I didn't even know they had stuff that was a dollar on there or 50 cents on there. I didn't know that. I thought everything was a dollar and a quarter. Okay, I have a $3 item. So when I come to those, I'm not gonna say $1.25 for everything. We know that's what the Dollar Tree is. So when I come up with something that costs me more, I will tell you, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and start in here. So let's see. I got this cute little ice cube tray. It's it's a silicone silicone mold. And it's of like a little penguin without his legs. But I thought that was really cute. Um, my daughter got me a ice machine for a dollar, a dollar twenty-five. Doesn't she wish it was a dollar twenty-five? Um, got me an ice machine for Mother's Day. Love it. We don't even have to go buy bags of ice anymore. It's just, it's amazing. And we have ice with all of our drinks just about. So, got this though, just because it's summer and I thought it was cute. Okay, see what the store does? It's cute, it jumped in my cart. Yeah. Okay, my husband, this is my craft room that I do my hauls in. Um, I'm gonna be taking down my Jeep sign. This is a Hobby Lobby sign that is one of my other favorite stores besides TG Maxx. So we'll be taking that down and we brought, bought the brown pegboard from Gilman's he painted it white for me and then we got white trim and he's cut it we're going to put that around and he bought me some hanging things um, like hooks to go in there so I can hang stuff up and I'm going to hang my Cricut items up there well the Dollar Tree had <clears throat> excuse me these little things here um probably goes like this I would you know what I have barely had a pegboard. It's the least complicated thing, I'm sure. But just looking at this, I don't even know how it goes on the pegboard. Um, maybe it's like that. I think it's like this, yes. So you put your hooks in there and then that's probably like a little bit more back support. So it just isn't flimsy and it kind of supports it there and you can just sit stuff on top. But it's a nice thick plastic. But I've never seen pegboard stuff in Hob Hobby Lobby. The Dollar Tree. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this bag just keeps falling over. I got this plant hanger, it's a chain, and um, it's got the three things there, so it'll just kind of help support your plant while it's on the hook and why it's hanging. So I got that. This is also another thing for the pegboard. And instead of it being like a flat top where I can just sit something, this one is like a little holder. So right there, I just put it in the pegboard 
and then yeah it just holds stuff for me so i thought that was cool um i'm sure if i went to hobby lobby or michael's or anywhere that has that kind of stuff i would probably spend way more than the dollar 25. um thought this was cute i meant to do something i wanted to get a piece of white paper or something plain as a back so you guys could see oh, see how things really look um I got this, it just says, God bless America, and it's a thin metal. So that was really cute. Just gonna hang it up, and I don't know if that'll help you see it more or not. I think white does better, but there you go. Thought that was cute. And I love, I love trucks. It's also one of my favorite things at Christmas, is the red Christmas truck. Yes, love that. Um, we've been working outside and we've got some rose bushes. They had all kinds of pretty gloves. I'm too far back. Um, some pretty gloves to pick from. It's got the nice plasticky or rubbery protection on the part where you're touching the plant. But they had all kinds of pretty ones. They had ones with ladybugs, blue flowers and stuff like that. But I like pink, so obviously yeah got my nails done had to get pink again i think i've gotten pink the last three or four times i got my nails done it's time for a change but wasn't today the change did not come today and then i got this little hook it even comes with the little screws for you and you just hang this on your porch yep just like i have no idea so and you can just hang your stuff there definitely does not go that way yeah it just goes this way but at least it comes with your hardware so you've got that with it um we have two hummingbird ones that are red and they're glass it's a real pretty dark red um and it looks like your old time bottles but i wanted to go ahead and get one of these and for a dollar 25 even if you go to like a hardware store these things are usually like 5.99 and up so i knew that was a good price so just got one of those and it comes with the little, the little hook to hang it. Love hummingbirds. Love them. They're just such pretty little things. Um, got a couple planters. They had a yellow, a light blue, and a, like a real pretty green, but I like this color. So I got two. Um, we don't have any plants to plant right now, but we've we're still adding and thinking of ideas. So if we think of something and then we have to replant it, at least we have something to put it in. So here's that. Get this stuff out of my way real quick. And then I also got this little thing here. And we have a couple of them because we take these to the campground. It's the stakes, the gardens, um, flag stakes. They also had them where it just had a little thing where you could hang a plant on them, but it'd have to be like a small plant because as you can see, it's, it's, it does give, it's not a good thick metal. So I didn't get the plant one because I just felt like it, it wouldn't support it as well. Maybe it would, but I went ahead and got this and then I debated because I don't think these are, which I'm at the dollar store. I know. And I love the dollars, the dollar tree, but, um, they had two different ones and I went back and forth probably for two or three minutes trying to decide just because the picture's really cute and they did sell flags. Um, but when you look at this, the color didn't look as vibrant, but we'll open it right here and we'll see. I will find out with you guys. And yeah, it's, um, I'm going to t cut this off because it's big enough for it to go through with my flag. And I did get those, I don't know if anybody's watched, that's on here watching my Dollar Tree haul, has watched my um, Timu one. But I did get these little black, thick rubber silicone-y like um, flower things that when you have your flag on here, the wind will blow them off. They might be a trip to put on, but the wind can just, just right off there, like no problem whatsoever. Well, try those little things. You have to push them with some force, but they do stay on there. So that is really nice. Um, but I don't, it's really thin with wind and everything. I don't think it's gonna last. Let's put this behind it and maybe it'll 
but it says land of the free because of the brave. But I mean, I thought it was cute. And you know what sold me on there, right? I just said it a minute ago. I love trucks. So yeah, got that. I'm gonna get this guy over here. Oops. This is two of my $5 items. And as soon as they, well, I walked right in the store, I opened it and it was like, oh, that's a dollar 25. Cause remember I hadn't been there in a while and I didn't know they had other items that are more expensive. So man, I gravitated right towards it only to find out they were $5 a piece, but it had already won my heart. So I had to get it. And once again, if you guys have watched my Timu hauls, I love gnomes. I could probably do a haul just of gnomes and who knows, maybe I will, but he is probably two feet, a little over two feet, but isn't he the cutest? And they had different, different ones. They had ones with red and he had what's on here was on his legs, but he's got these little, he will stand. Maybe I'm fibbing, but okay. He will not go outside because obviously he's just going to go boop, right over, but it will stand. I was just going to put him with this other thing that I got that I'm going to show next. Um, so kind of stand him up and lean it against it. So he won't have to fully support himself either, but it's made quite well. Look at that. So cute. And TJ Maxx is my other favorite store. And if I went there, their prices are going up just like everybody else's. Um, that used to be one of my favorite places to buy gnomes, but now they're getting so high. Um, I guarantee you, he would probably be like $12.99 or something like that, but I only paid $5 for him. $5. Look at the little nose, the little flap. It's more of like that. <laughs> Once again, I don't know my materials. So if I get it close enough, people that work with materials, is it felt? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but he's cute love his hat okay so five dollars for that little guy <laughs> he's so stinking cute sitting there standing there and this was the other thing they had this underneath them on the floor in a box and then all the gnomes lined up on top but i love flag stuff so this was my other item which you can see it says five dollars but these, if you push on them, it is a thin wood. It will break on you, but, and you can always add more support too on yourself. If you have a staple or like a staple gun or a little nail gun, you could support it more, put one or two more in between those, but it does have support, which makes it thicker, but you do want to be careful because it will break. But I just thought that was really pretty. And you know, just like any place, you kind of have to go through them because there might be little nicks on the paint here and there. And this was the best one that I found. Um, so I got that and I really like that. And it is of wood, it's, it's wood. Okay, and then, now this, I told you I went in for Memorial Day stuff and 4th of July stuff. So when everything starts jumping in my car, it's gonna make a random haul, okay? So. It's just a little bit of this and that, right down to food, okay? I don't really know if you guys want to see my food, but I'm just going to show you everything I bought. Our daughter has a real big, it's probably like a 15 by something, but it's a big picture, and she got it from the um, Hobby Lobby. I do like to buy their pictures and stuff when they're half off. They're pretty decent prices. But um, it has the colors of this, and this says Perfume de Paris. So it has that on there and the little white frame. And then I also got her this one. Chic, chick, Parisian, chic, Parisian. I don't know how you say it, but yeah. So there's that one. So we got both of those for her to go in her room and they do already have the brackets up there. So she can just hang them right up. If once again, I might be throwing Timu in there a little bit. If you guys watch my Timu hauls, you know that I'm going, I'm so stoked to South Carolina to see my mom at the end of June. And I haven't seen her for a while. So very excited, been making her up like a goodie box. Might end up being two, two boxes. But um, my mom, and I'm sure most of you probably know who she is. Well, this one's mine, but I got my mom one and me one. My mom loved Betty Boop, okay. 
look, it's a good shirt. This is Delta Pro Weight is the brand. I got a large. It's Athletic Heather is the color of gray. And this is 90% pre-shrunk cotton and 10% polyester. But it's got little Miss Boop on there. Little Betty Boop. So thought that was so cool. The material, it's it's a good, it's your cotton shirt. It's just a nice shirt like you would buy anywhere. So yeah, mom will like that. So I got her one and I got me one, so I won't have to show you both of them. When I dress up to go places, I dress up. But when I'm comfortable, I like to wear cartoon shirts and things like this. Well, this was of my time and I'm sure a lot of you too. I do not like the new Scooby-Doo. I like the classic cartoons. I don't like the changes that they make in the new ones and the way they look. It's just, I don't know, call me old school, but I don't like change on some things and the cartoons are probably one of those things. But it's Scooby-Doo and the gang. How cute, it's black. It is pre-shrunk also. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. There's nothing on the back, same brand, Delta Weight. And it's just, it's just black, but love the colors i mean look at that look at their faces yeah it's of good quality so i was really excited that's almost five dollar shirts um what is that store five below i think muncie has one it takes me an hour to get there um but yeah it's kind of i bought shirts from there before i bought some of our christmas shirts like the elf and different ones um oh fudge everybody knows that classic right yeah i got my shirt from that store too but um yeah five bucks good shirts i do cricket and craft so these for their prices it's really a good thick wood i'm just gonna i don't know if it's gonna say home sweet home or something about you know your pets or whatever but that's what it is it has a little chimney i got two it's kind of like that chalkboard material. If you wanted to put something on the back, it does not have brackets or anything because it will stand just fine on its own, no problem. And it's nice and flat. They're cut very even. So actually you could do whatever you wanted with these. There's lots of ideas. So I thought of a couple, but don't know yet what I'm doing. And then, I don't know. I don't know why I bought it except peppermint mocha the bark oh my gosh it's like one of my favorite candies um so i think the picture sold me but it's called super coffee and i've never had this before it is only 70 calories <clears throat> if you're watching your carbs it's three grams cholesterol is five and 80 milligram for sodium 2.5 for fat and it has 10 proteins so yeah i don't know i just like I said, I love that candy. So that's what sold me. It might be my new thing. I mean, if it tastes really good, I love coffee. Cold coffee, hot coffee, I don't care. Love coffee. So, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I get these for our camper and I love, oh, I love clean linen. I think it smells clean. <laughs> I just love that smell. But we've got two bathrooms in our camper um, and I like to always have one of these in there just I don't know. I, I'm a person I love to have candles burning all the time. I love smelly stuff and I'm a smeller. So you'll probably see me smelling stuff quite a bit. I actually do it without thinking. And then when I rewatch my hauls, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I already threw myself under the bus. So, you know, you can't hide anything once you've recorded it on camera, everybody's already seen it. So there you go. But Glade brand. Those are one of the things I think I've always bought from the Dollar Tree. I think I've got them from Walmart before, but yeah, I usually get those from the Dollar Tree. Um, yes, I'm sure my husband will thank the people out there asking if I will do hauls from other stores. Yeah. I got home before he did, like five minutes. So, um, I already had everything upstairs in my area. But I will still show him because when I get done, I'm going to go down. I've got some stuff for outside too, so I will show him everything. These were, I thought I got, I did. I got these five little towels because they're, they're cute. They're all going to be for the camper. This one says 
chilling and grilling. Has the ketchup, your hand glove on there, your hot dog, your lid, your little poker fork, mustard, chicken, your burger. Yeah, thought that was cute. Um, they're not bad. I mean, anybody who's bought a, a towel or anything from the Dollar Tree knows the quality of it. Excuse me. And I bought them before and they last a while. So it was, it was worth the dollar 25 still, even though they went up, I will still pay that. Okay. I'll make it this way. So you guys don't see the tags. This is grilling and chilling. I like the white and gray checker. So grilling and chilling. And I love mason jars. So this one was cool. It looked really pretty with the blue and the black. It says cold drinks, good eats, and barbecue. Yeah. Some summertime cocktails, backyard barbecue, food, family, and good times. And I thought this one was really cute. It's all that in between an old charcoal grill. So, yeah. And the last one grill, eat, chill, repeat. Yep, it's pretty much what we do when we're camping besides being extra, extra lazy and loving every second. So, got five towels. Um, these are also for the camper. Um, I've, I've bought stuff like this from the Dollar Tree for years and I love them. Um, got the Rubbermaid, it's just the two pack. These are the 5.2 cups or 1.2 liters, but you get your two bowls. And it's got 250 milliliter, 250, and up here is 750. So it kind of does the count. Down here is one cup, and then up here is the three cup. But they're just nice, and they seal really good. But it's good for leftovers, or if you're making a little bit of pasta or something to go with um, your, your dinner or lunch for the day. These are just nice containers to have, and they stack good. So I bought two. And yes, it's the Rubbermaid take-alongs, but I love those. And I'm sure I'll eventually buy more. I mean, sometimes I mess them up in the microwave and all that good stuff. So, but they're inexpensive, so I'm okay with having to buy more if I need them. Oh. Okay. These were for outside. thought they were cute. But, um, here. In the store, I could tell they spun real good, but the plastic thing was there, so you couldn't spin it all the way around with it starting to, without it twisting up. So, but yeah, these were pretty and it goes around really nice. Does not catch at all, except when it hits my hat. But yeah, I got that. They had all kinds of pretty colors. Um, pink with white polka dots, bright green with white polka dots, blue, just all kinds of colors. But I bought two of those. Um, and they all spin really good. I think the sun will catch that sparkle and they're really pretty and then i got this one more like a pinwheel or a windmill i don't know it's just round like a circle but i thought it was pretty too real pretty colors i don't know kind of nice and festive for the fourth just to bring a little bit of color and stuff outside was that all that was in that okay Got these for the grandbabies. Um, our oldest one, she was Raya for Halloween last year. We do the spectacular at the campground where all the kids, we you know, they shut the park where you can't drive through and all the kids walk around. Well, she loves Raya. And I don't know if you've seen this cartoon, but it is such a cute cartoon. Very cute. But yeah. And what it is, it's a jumbo coloring, so it's not just the coloring, it's got all their activities and stuff in there that, you know. So, and then got another one. Dr. Seuss. I love Dr. Seuss. Um, it's just the cat in the hat. And it's got the same as the other one. You got pictures you can color, and then, you know, just different randoms in there, word searches and stuff that you can do, so... We, we always have stuff for the girls to do, the sidewalk chalk and all that when we're at the campground. Stuff to keep them busy. This was at the Dollar Tree, and do you guys remember paper dolls? 
I loved playing with paper dolls. I never had my own. My mom had the Campbell soup. I don't, do any of you remember the Campbell soup dolls? They were so cute, little chubby, little baby looking things, rosy cheeks. Well, my mom had those and then she had another one and they were, some were tall. The, the Campbell soups were smaller, but some were tall and thicker made and they had the little things where they could sit up, but you could just keep dressing them by pressing the folds over their shoulders or their waist or, you know, whatever to help them hold it in, hold it on the doll stand. But this was Barbie. And I don't know if our granddaughters have ever, we've never bought it for them. So I don't know if they've ever done this before, paper dolls, but I don't know. For a dollar and a quarter, I thought, yeah. You get one paper doll with the stand. I didn't know she comes with stand. And you get three fashion sheets. So this right here is just one. There's two more back there. So yeah, I thought that was cool. She doesn't look like your original Barbie, but they're changing everything. Um, so she's kind of got that new Barbie look, but it is Barbie brand. And then I got this for me and I've never tried it. Um, who knows if it'll be a winner or ain't, but it's strawberries and bananas and it's Jumex. I don't know. Strawberry banana nectar from concentrate. But if anybody out there has tried this before from Dollar Tree, maybe you guys can let me know how it is. I mean, I am going to try it. But I'm, um, I don't know. I like that combo flavor. So I thought, hmm, I don't know. I was in the mood to try something new. I did the same thing with this coffee. So those were two new things that I hadn't had before. And our youngest, um, Ava, loves to do her fingernails. So they had a bunch of different ones. And these are the two that I went with. These are so cute. There is 12 pieces. But you got your hearts. I don't know if this light's kind of making a blur, but it's cute. I like this little, little one up here. It says, hi. I don't know if you can see that. Is it? I think you can see. I hope you can see. And then these were so cute. Look at them. Got little sunflowers on there. Little bumblebees. So yeah, those are cute. Why do I feel like everything's blurry today? I'm just zooming up just to see. Okay kind of does. Is it me focusing on me? Okay. Let's just focus on the box. I even put it in front of my face, but it still looked like it was blurry. But I got Ava two of those. My husband loves gum. He is a bubble gum guy and he likes the ones that remember on the gumball machines. It's the yellow one. It's got the red speckle and design on it. He says that is his favorite one. Well, sometimes at the Dollar Tree, you can find those. Well, they did not have them. So, got him another classic. I love this stuff. Big League Chew. Anybody remember that? I love it. I still think you can buy this at Cracker Barrel. Yeah. So, it's 2.12 ounces. It says there is serving size is eight pieces. Well, I have never just had eight pieces. I've always put like a big old wad in my mouth. But, yeah. He'll love that. And then, I love to read. And I'm, I'm, Christmas is our big thing and Halloween is like runner up, but we love Christmas. I saw this book and it actually has three stories in it. It's a U New York Times and USA Today bestselling author, Jody Thomas. It's the cowboy who saved Christmas. So it had all the good um, settings. It's country and it's Christmas. Okay. But I thought that looked like a good little book here. Hopefully not. USA price is $8.99. Canada is $11.99. And we pay a dollar and a quarter for three stories in here. One is called Father Goose. Jody Thomas is the author. The next one is The Mistletoe Promise. And that's Sharla Loveless. And the third one is Almost Christmas. And that's Linda Brode. And she is the New York Times and USA Today bestselling author. And so is the one under Father Goose. Best-selling author just has the author, and this was a New York another best-sell um, author. So, yeah, pretty. Got that. And we're getting close to being done. These are for I don't know. I'm gonna put them in my camper. But our camper is still getting worked on. We still do not have that back. 
they told us maybe within a week, but now I don't believe any other time frames because we've heard different ones and we don't have it. But these are cute little trays. They had them with um, lemons and oranges. I really debated, and this one with butterflies, it was so colorful and pretty. But I thought this would be good for like um, crackers, cheese, and your meat, like bologna or salami, or we love um, summer sausage, like, well, I won't say because I don't want to. Okay. We like summer sausage. So that would be a good thing to put on there. But it was this little tray. And I don't know the size. It's probably a 12 by 8, maybe. It's a nice little size. I mean, here's my head. And there it is. But the watermelons, I ended up going with the watermelons. I was debating between that and the um, lemon and orange. They were like halves put together, and it was cute. And I love this one. Here, I'll do it up close so you can at least see the turtle. But yeah, I just, I thought that was a pretty one too. So I got the turtle one. So just cute little trays for putting snacks or anything on over camp. And when we get done with our meat, we can put our meat on there. I don't know, I don't, they should be fine. But they're little trays. And I thought they were cute. Cute gets me in trouble. Oh, and I love this. This, I believe, was the $3. It's called Pure Soap, and it's glass. And I love this. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. I didn't have to look at my receipt. It's right there. Um, Pure Soap. That doesn't help, does it? Sorry. But it is big. It is big. Um, yeah, it's big. And then here's your little pump. And it goes down nice. Springs right back. I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, it's really, really pushed down here at the bottom. I'll put soap in it and see how it dispenses, but if I feel like it's like struggling to come out a little bit, I'll probably take it out and maybe snip just a hair, not much, because I still want it to pick up as close as it will on the bottom. But I love that glass, and this part's plastic, but that is for our bathroom downstairs. Okay, I just have a couple more things, and I believe, oh, I fibbed. I left, I guess, probably the boring part for last. Um, you guys will get to see my inner child self here in a minute with this food that I got. <clears throat> More crafts. The Dollar Tree is a place that I like to pick up my crafts. But, yes. Love this. It comes with your little jute rope there. And it's that porcelain or ceramic. But I can vinyl on that. Put a little saying, a picture, whatever I want to do. And I thought about making Christmas ornaments. Like a real pretty Christmas ornament. But I don't know yet. It was just one of my ideas. If anybody, and I bought two. If anybody's got any ideas, it's shaped like a stop sign. No, it's not. It is not shaped like a stop sign. No. Okay. Okay, well, it's that shape. And I did get two. So, if you have any ideas other than Christmas ornaments, because see, I love Christmas. That's always my first thought of what to do with things. Um, put some um, thoughts or ideas down there in the comments. That would be great. I love ideas. I love comments. I love reading them. I am really, I spent last weekend like trying to catch up on all my comments that I was behind on because I'm always like, I'm sorry if, if I skipped. Some people have been on there a week and I didn't see them and I've been through it before and it's like, oh my gosh, I don't want anybody thinking I'm ignoring them. Um, I'm not. I'm so not ignoring anybody. But um, I tried my best to get through all those comments and I've seen a bunch come through this week, but it's been busy. Today was our last day at school, but we do go back to work for some final touches, just us employees. And then we are done for the summer and then I have more time to get in there and stay on top of my stuff. And then my inner child, this size is the 15.6. It's just what you find at the stores. I love me some spaghetti -o and meatballs. I do. I love spaghetti and meatballs. It's so weird. My mom can't stand the smell of this, 
but I can't stand the smell of tomato soup. I can't even eat it. Isn't that weird? And they both kind of stink. I mean, but yeah, I can't eat tomato soup. My mom makes tomato soup and then she puts Parmesan cheese in it and it smells horrific, horrific. But I love me some SkettiOs. I do, I do. And my husband loves baked beans and they have the Kingsford brand. And it is the 15 ounce, same size you would buy at the store or bigger, the bigger cans. That got him two of those. And I got a couple of cards, which it looked like a card. One card was a dollar and one was 50 cents. I always thought they were two for a dollar on their cards. Yeah, I paid a dollar for one and then 50 cents. That's okay though. Um, Oh, my last little thing I bought. I usually, I love Bath and Body Works hand soaps as like everything else. Those are getting pricier. The sales aren't always as good as they used to be. But that's normally all I have. But when I saw this and I smelled it, I thought it sounded, ooh, that might smell good. Well, it did. So I went ahead and got it. And it's Dial. Dial's, it's a brand that's been around for years and it's a good brand. My mom had it. And I even think ours was orange. I think it, yeah. Now they've got all kinds of stuff, but this one's called Himalayan Salt, and it's a real pretty pink, but it smells so good, and that's what sold me. I just I was like, ooh, yeah. I didn't just get it all over my hand. Here, I'll just wipe all my pants. This is my work pants. Throw them in the dirty clothes. I'm still in my work clothes. I really went straight from work up to Richmond, got my nails done. I don't really have to smell the soap no more because it's all over my hands. I can just smell my hands. But, yeah. I like that. And then I got two cards. My husband's was for Father's Day. He's downstairs. Um, not a real pretty card, but I wasn't going really for the looks of the picture. Hi, Abby. Um, he hasn't had his debut on the Dollar Tree ones. He has the Heat Timus, but um, wasn't the prettiest card maybe, but I went for what it said inside and it said everything that I wanted it to. I, just, I always have everything I want to say up in my head, but I'm a person that have, I have a difficult time writing it out. It's like it won't tr come from here to the paper the right way. I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's probably just me, but I struggle with that. So I am so thankful we have cards. And when you find that car, it's like, oh, exactly, yes, dead on, di spot on, yes, that's exactly how I feel. Well, I found that card, so that was his Father's Day card. Um, for our boss tomorrow, um, we're all going out to eat after, we're going to put in about three hours of work just to finish some stuff up, and then we're going to go out to eat. And we bought her a little goodie bag, and got her this card, and it says, thank you so much for the nice things you do, for your thoughtfulness, too. For just being you but it was cute and on both of these one nice thing about them I miss Hallmark you guys remember the Hallmark stores this big difference on size of cards Me oh I bet that's one of the things that's changed this was a dollar and the Father's Day one was 50 cents so now we're paying for the price difference too I guess but I literally thought they used to be two for a dollar maybe I'm wrong but um yeah Hallmark anybody else remember going to Hallmark I remember going there with my mom um, used to get my precious moment figurines from there. Um, I've collected those and Coca-Cola stuff ever since, gosh, middle school probably for Coca-Cola and probably about there for the precious moments too. But, all right, you guys, that is my haul. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your time to see what I got from there. Um, I'm sure... I never really, like I said, put much thought into it, but I love TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and maybe random times, you know, when I go shopping or do something, it might not be long hauls, maybe really short. Um, I'll just jump on here and share some of the goodies that I found at some of my favorite stores. So if that's your thing, you know, if you like to watch this kind of stuff, which I binge watch hauls all the time, um, I'm happy to have you jump right on here and I hope you enjoy everything. If you do, just like, share, and subscribe if you want, and you guys have a blessed evening, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.